Howdy folks, how's it going? Good morning. Looks like a good day to see Machu Picchu, doesn't it? Nice and sunny. And check out those stellar views of the Andes Mountains here in Peru. All right, so I'm here in my hotel room, which as you can see is uh, pretty simple. Bathroom outside the uh, room, but $10. So a great deal, especially for Aguas Calientes, which is a uh, fairly expensive little uh, touristy town. I'm still kind of waking up here, uh, but I'm going to go have breakfast. And then uh, in this video, then I will be hiking to Machu Picchu itself. It is a one or two or three hour uh, hike, something like that. I'm not exactly sure how far it is, um, but it's going to be amazing views, um, walking along the river and then up uh, through the jungle foliage up to Machu Picchu itself. And then also in the course of this video, then I'll give you a little taste of the town here of Aguas Calientes, uh, which is also known as Machu Picchu um, town. All right, so time to get out of here, grab breakfast and then hit the trail. Here we go. What a day. So here's breakfast, omelet, toast, butter and jam, coca tea to get a little uh, energy buzz going, and then a cup of juices on the way. This is uh, 25 Peruvian soles, which is about $8, which is pretty expensive actually for Peru. Usually you can get pretty much the same thing for like uh, 10 to 15 souls, uh, but Aguas Calientes is pretty touristy because it's right near Machu Picchu. So, check out this dog. It's massive. <laughs> Hello. Wow. All right, walking through the town here. And here's the main plaza of the town. Here are some of the uh, more expensive restaurants in town. And the train tracks. The train goes from here all the way to Cusco, the uh, largest city of the area. I am planning to take the train out of here, so stay tuned for that. That will probably be uh, video number five. Wow, check out those rocks. Some steep cliffs there. And I will be hiking down this road along this river and then over a bridge, and then up into the hills. And here we come to the bridge. Beautiful flowers, wow. And a shrine. So for anyone who saw uh, part two of this series, the one where I hike along the train tracks, at the point where uh, I pretend that I'm taking a selfie photo in front of the uh, train, but then it's actually not moving, um, that was right up here. Hola. Boleto? Boleto de entrada y de entrada. There's the road. There's the sign. Machu Picchu, I made it. Oh, almost. Still got a hike to do. And Site Museum, Botanic Garden, Hiking Trail. All right, I'm curious to find out uh, how much of a hike this is. I have no idea. It's a kilometer or two or three or five. We'll find out. All right, looks like that says 1.748 kilometers. They are very precise. Almost two kilometers. That's uh, a little more than a mile. Tempo 60 minutes, about an hour's hike. These are some steep steps. You can see what it says an hour for less than two kilometers. You can hear the train off in the distance there. Two 
toot toot. Thanks a lot. Man, these steps are killer. I almost think it might be easier just to take the road. I am so wiped out. Looking forward to getting up there. So I'll just mention that, uh, yes, you are going to get a uh, view of Machu Picchu itself in this video. However, there will be another uh, video uh, giving a more comprehensive tour. So I'm just going to kind of give you a little glimpse of it once I get up there. And then I'm going to spend like all day um, hanging out, at least for, you know, three, four hours, something like that, um, getting pictures and video and stuff. So uh, look for that video number four, and that will give you a more thorough uh, view of Machu Picchu. But check out the... Incredible views. All right, hoping it's not too much further. I hear parked buses and people talking. I think I'm there. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, and this is just the very beginning. <laughs> That isn't such a bad view, but here comes the more amazing one. Here we go. Machu Picchu means old person. It was constructed or believed to be constructed. They really don't know for sure the full history by any means. Um, but in the mid 15th century, around 1450-ish, and then was abandoned with the conquest of the Spanish um, in the mid 16th century, 1530s and 40s, around there. And then it was lost to time because the Spanish actually never discovered it. So they didn't conquer the city. They uh, didn't know about it. They uh, have no records of having known about it. Um, it was revealed to the world in 1911 by Hiram Bingham. Um, and then it became a you know internationally known uh, site, but it was shrouded in jungle for hundreds of years. So thanks for watching this uh, amazing trek up to Machu Picchu. As I said before, then uh, this is just part three of a five part series. So look below this video for part four um, to see a more comprehensive uh, look at uh, this amazing fortress in the sky. I'm going to be taking my time here for sure. A lot to see. All right, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Hasta luego.